Ladies and gentlemen, the Sergeant Major of the Third Troop Training Battalion, Sergeant Major Howard. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everyone doing this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this you are aboard Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. And there are 212 of our nation's newest Marines right outside that hatch. So like the voice just said, I am the third recruit training battalion sergeant major. Now let me tell you, before any of you even think about throwing something at me down here, I was an Alpha Company drill instructor. More importantly, on May 18th, 2003, 20 years ago from today, I was standing on those yellow footprints as a 1st Battalion recruit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to be here and share this experience with you today. On behalf of our Depot Commanding General, Brigadier General Field, and our Depot Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Moto, welcome to Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island. Very soon, ladies and gentlemen, you will meet your new Marines, and you will be able to discuss with them firsthand all of their experiences while in recruit training. But first, let's talk about some of the training here aboard Paris Island. Now, ladies and gentlemen, recruit training is very, very demanding. It is divided into four distinct phases, with that first phase being the most intense and demanding. This is where the recruits adjust to the mental and physical demands of the recruit training environment. This is about that time most of you probably received a letter that sounded something like, help me, get me out of here. This was such a bad idea. Sound familiar? That's first phase. Now in second phase, the foundation built in first phase is reinforced and additional advanced skills are taught such as marksmanship and battlefield leadership. Major focus goes to, to instilling teamwork, esprit de corps, and our core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Now throughout the progression of third phase, the molding of the basically trained Marine is completed. The transition moves from one of training to mentoring. And upon completion of their final team building event, the Crucible, the recruits will receive our beloved Eagle Globe and Anchor, culminating the transformative process into the United States Marine. Now in fourth phase, we allow our new Marines to embrace and grow into their newly earned identities because every one of them has completed numerous evaluations while in recruit training that instill confidence and leadership abilities. The end result is a basically trained Marine that has met every objective of recruit training, has been found worthy, and has absolutely earned the title of United States Marine. Most importantly, they understand their responsibility to our great nation, to the Marine Corps, and to each and every one of you. They know exactly what it means to be a United States Marine. These are the Marines that you will see here today, ladies and gentlemen. These are your sons, your daughters, your friends, your family, your loved ones. These are your Marines. You still got the enthusiasm, don't you? All right, now the Marines responsible for this transformation are our legendary drill instructors. Our drill instructors are comprised of non-commissioned 
and staff non-commissioned officers from all over the Marine Corps who bring with them their operational and leadership experiences. They attend a very, very demanding 13-week drill instructor school right here aboard Paris Island. They become subject matter experts in the recruit training process. They also become proficient in time management because every second of the weekly training schedule is accounted for. Ladies and gentlemen, our drill instructor's average work week often exceeds 100 hours. Over 100 hours! They pour their heart and souls into transforming recruits into United States Marines. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're out and about today with your new Marine, I highly encourage you to meet our drill instructors. Shake their hands. Thank them for a job well done. Let's hear it for our drill instructors, ladies and gentlemen. your new Marine. 10 days of leave. Now 10 days is the standard leave period following graduation. Now during this leave period, your new Marine is highly encouraged to refer those individuals that they feel have the medal to become United States Marines to their hometown recruiters. The meritorious promotion incentives for your new Marine are outlined on the slides behind me. As a matter of fact, we have some recruiters here with us today from RS Grand Rapids. Please stand up.
the senior drum instructor of Platoon 1037 is Staff Sergeant Major from Memphis, Tennessee. He is assisted by drum instructors, Staff Sergeant Major from Clarksville, Tennessee, Staff Sergeant Harvin IV from Greenville, North Carolina, and Staff Sergeant Mike from Great Bend, Kansas. The senior drum instructor of Platoon 1038 is Staff Sergeant Cooper from Chicago, Illinois. He is assisted by Drill instructors, Staff Sergeant Harris from Dallas, Texas, Sergeant LaFrance from Palm Beach, Florida, and Sergeant Smith from Lebanon, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, the drill instructors of Company A. Please have a safe and enjoyable family with your new worry aboard the virtual team. 